What's up, YouTube? It's Jen Neal from Res Inspired back with another video. I'm sorry it's been so long. I've really been trying to play catch up and juggle this whole quarantine thing. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. It hasn't gone as smoothly as you would think. You would almost think like, hey, lockdown, big vacation, right? <laughs> well, I think my work has like tripled since that happened. First thing from the last video, Saskia Smith, you know, you're my, one of my top number one stunners. When I posted the Rainbow Pour video, she posted a notification on her page to send people to my channel to check it out. And I really appreciate that. Like, Saskia, you and I have been, you know, like this from the jump in and out. There isn't anything that that woman can't do. And I don't mean to say that woman. There isn't anything that Saskia can't do. Same with Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. There's a handful of others as well. You know, I'm I'm just really grateful to have such a great circle around me. And for those of you who have come looking for me and hunting me down, you mean the world to me as well. So if I don't respond to you guys right away, just come at me again. Because like I said, the notifications are open. Yeah, I hit 8,500 subs on YouTube, which is awesome. 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do something big. I got like three huge canvases sitting in my studio that I've just been sitting on and plotting for over two years now. So it is time. <laughs> anyway, and then the, the, um, everybody who's come to Art Addicts, my recipe is now in Art Addicts under the announcement tab. In it's, it, I think it's called the Bloom Technique. It's a PDF document. So... Instead of going over it again and again and again, I wrote everything down. We're going to focus on Craftnique, which is their opaque concentrated colorants. So if you mix them with a polyurethane, they become less and less opaque. So you can make stains and glazes, and they're using them for tumblers and instruments. And I mean, you name it, it's all there, and they're all fantastic, you know? So you can take any of these predispersed mica pigments. You can make any color metallic. I mean, even, you know, deep violet. You add a little bronze or of, or I'm sorry, this is copper now, or silver to this, <laughs> you have a metallic color. They're intermixable with every acrylic or colorant mica pigment, art pigment, totally intermixable. The Bright Tone from Craftnique. This is my number one, like, Superman ingredient into the Bloom Technique. It is a clear, hard-curing varnish. I can't tell you how shiny this is. It's just, it's about as close as you can get to resin. Considering that I mixed it with the pouring medium and everything else, you know, it did mute the shine to it. But here's the finished piece that you're getting ready to see. And I mean, look at that gloss on it. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if I'm going to do anything to the center with it or not. You guys tell me what you think. But the details and everything in this is just incredible. Here we go. We are going to be using Craftnik's mica predispersed mica pigments tonight they are so heavily concentrated you guys you have to disperse them so you would do one part of the predispersed mica pigments to one part of the bright tone which i have in a little bottle here uh, two parts of the pouring medium that i have pre-mixed is one part bright, bright tone to th uh three parts untinted base mm. cell activator which is one part Amsterdam titanium white to three parts of strained American Floetrol, which I did add one drop of the quinacridone nickel azel gold from Golden, the high flow. You guys know I like you you guys know by now that I love to do that. I love that off white bone white instead of that bright white. Links are in the description, and I hope everybody is safe and doing well. I think my lucky star is every day that my family is safe, and I 
Hope to God that yours is too. Check out, oh yeah, I, I made a TikTok for Link. <laughs> I'll post the link now. Link's link. <laughs> but wait till you see what I've come up with. I'm kind of proud of myself, so let me just wallow in that for a little bit. But if you really want to laugh or if you're having a bad day, I'm pretty sure that it will make you smile. So he's uh, Link the Minion on TikTok. And let's get started. I want to take a shish kebab skewer and like drag, I don't know yet, I have to consult my constituents, they know better than me, but wow, thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye!